AnimatedAnatomy.com. Hello and welcome to Animated Anatomy. My name is Faris and in this lesson I will talk about the shoulder anatomy. Let's start by showing you serratus anterior. The serratus anterior originates on the surfaces of the upper eight ribs. That's right here. At the side of the chest, right? And it inserts along the entire anterior length of the medial border of the scapula. So if we look at the scapula, the anterior uh, part and the medial border, right? It's attaching here, but from, from the other side. Let's try to see it. Well, it would be attaching right here if you look at the other scapula, right? Now, this uh, muscle has the function of fixing scapula into thoracic wall and it aids in rotation and the abduction of the shoulders. Rotation and the abduction of the shoulders. The next muscle I will talk about is the subclavius. It is located right here, inferior to the clavicle. That's why we get this name, subclavius. It originates on the first rib right here and then it's inserting on the subclavian groove under there. I've explained these parts of the bones in my other videos where I explain each bone separately. Now it depresses the lateral clavicle and also acts as the stabilizer of clavicle. The next muscle is right here and that is the pectoralis minor. The pectoralis minor has the origin on the third, fourth, and the fifth rib near the cartilage, right? Here is the cartilage of the ribs. It inserts into the medial border and upper surface of the coracoid process, right here. It obviously draws the scapula inferiorly, however, it also medially rotates the scapula. And now we come to the muscle that looks really beautiful on a female body. It is also a symbol of sensitivity and softness of a female body. Quite often the supermodels have it very obvious because they have very low fat and you can easily recognize this muscle. The muscle attaches to the sternum right, right here and also attaches to the clavicle. That's why it's sternocleido. It, cleido because of the clavicle and sterno because of the sternum. It also attaches to the mastoid process of the temporal bone of the skull. Here is the temporal bone of the skull and here is the mastoid process. Now that's why it's sternocleidomastoidos or in English it would be sternocleidomastoid muscle. Most of the action is to flex and rotate the head uh, in regards to the shoulder. However, it also aids in respiration by elevating the sternoclavicular joint when the head is fixed. Okay, so when the fat head is fixed, it aids the respiration by elevating the sternoclavicular joint. Now, if you don't know the meaning of these words that I'm just saying, uh, the movements and everything, look, I cannot explain it in this video, but. When you're done watching this video, you can check out my other videos on my website where I explain every single movement and what does it mean. Because right now it would, it would be loss of time. We have so many muscles to explain. I cannot explain all of these things one after another. Now the next muscle that I will talk about is the levator scapulae. The levator scapulae arises from the transverse process of the four, first four cervical vertebrae. So you have here the cervical vertebrae, and this is the transfer process here. Oh, here and here and as well here. That's where it arises. Now the insertion is the medial border of the scapula right here. Now you can see it's not illustrated very good, but basically that's where it inserts. Most of its actions are to uh, rotate uh, the scapula downwards. Okay, so it's rotating the scapula like this and it's also elevating the scapula so it's quite obvious that that's what it's doing and it's elevating the scapula then we have the rhomboid minor and the rhomboid major muscles here so they arise from the first cervical 
uh, for example, this minor here, it arises from the seventh vertical, uh, cervical vertebra and the first thoracic vertebra. Now here, it's slightly more superior, but forget about it. It's arising from the seventh cervical vertebra and the uh, first thoracic vertebra. Now the major muscle arises from the second thoracic vertebra and all the way down to the fifth thoracic vertebra. They insert on the medial border of the scapula. Now they are responsible for the upward rotation of the scapula. I know it seems a little bit illogical that when they contract right now the scapula should go like this. It should rotate downwards. However, look, this was, as I said, too much superior, illustrated too much superior. Simply, they don't do that. They should. They would be contracting the other way around more inferiorly, and the scapula would be rotating upwards. This muscle here is the trapezius muscle. Now, the trapezius muscle arises here from the occipital bone, and then it arises from the spinosis process of the seventh cervical vertebra. And then it arises from the spinosis processes of all the thoracic vertebrae. It also arises from the corresponding portion of the supraspinal ligament. It inserts on the lateral clavicle right here. It inserts on the acromion process and also more medially to the spine of the scapula right here. So different portions of this muscle perform different actions on the scapula. You have the depression of scapula possible. You have the elevation of scapula possible. You also have the upward rotation of scapula possible and you have the adductions. Now I have removed all the muscles because I want to show you four really, really important muscles. Those are the muscles of the rotator cuff. They create the rotator cuff. There we have, there we have it. Now these muscles create the rotator cuff of the shoulder. Now all the other muscles that I have explained previously are around them if you look at it but you have to be able to recognize these muscles right. Let me choose the multi pick and let's select them one by one. Here is the infraspinatus muscle. Then you have the teres minor muscle. Then you here you have the subscapularis muscle and you have supraspinatus muscle. So these these muscles that I that are yellow right now, they create the rotator cuff. I created an extra video only for this. After that I will skip to explaining innervation and the blood supply to the shoulder. True. What we offer now is very simple. We offer you my very own animated lessons. We offer you my very own Anatomy Atlas and 3D models in one package. Lessons. We offer you my very own Anatomy Atlas.